other side of the door. Lizzie, why do you do that on purpose? Cute. Built our own poke bowls. making dinner it's the Trader Joe's fried rice and then I have the orange chicken in the air fryer looks like this it's almost done um, and then this is the sauce for the orange chicken and that's that's the easiest dinner ever and they literally like it's literally packaged fried rice and then this is it's the mandarin orange chicken it's so good from Trader Joe's It is the next day, it's Saturday. I wanted to talk about my morning lemon water and why I added Himalayan salt to my lemon water. So, Himalayan salt, so I've been doing a lot of research. I don't know if you guys have seen my past few vlogs where I've talked about having like headaches because I'm not drinking enough water, but I am drinking like tons of water throughout the day. I would get headaches and then I've just been like, I've always been a very lightheaded person. I've passed out so many times throughout my life. Like ever since I was young, I've just passed out. I've passed out getting my hair braided when I was young. I used to go to the Bahamas like every single summer and I'd get my whole head braided. Child things, you know, and I'd pass out. I passed out on the last day of my eighth grade school day in on exam day in the middle of math my math exam in front of the whole entire class and it was so embarrassing i passed out getting my hair like dyed before and it always freaks me out whenever i go and get my hair done i get like nervous and like anxious every time i go and get my hair done i have this weird thing where i like hold my breath when i get nervous sometimes and i'll like lock my legs so as you can imagine presenting school projects was scary i have to like tell myself like breathe like breathe 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 it's just weird um a lot of my like childhood friends can like vouch for me i've like literally passed out off the side of a hot tub like just i've passed out anyways but i've been feeling really lightheaded recently and it's just scary to me i don't know what it means what i was saying before i started talking about my whole like pass with passing out i pass out a lot and it's kind of like a, a fear of mine like passing out is really scary to me i used to drink hydration tablets which had electrolytes in it and i just feel like i work out every day i'm a runner like i'm a huge runner i run not far far distances only like four or five miles max um but i definitely do run at least two miles like four times a week i just feel like my electrolytes and minerals are being depleted in my body and I'm not replenishing them like I'm not drinking Gatorade and I kind of wanted an alternative to like something sugary and Himalayan salt has 84 trace minerals in it and I can pull up an article and I can link the article down below so the five benefits of starting your day with Himalayan salt water I had lemon too because lemon is like detoxifying and stuff like that but it's a natural electrolyte um, it keeps the body hydrated so i wanted something that kept me hydrated without like having to drink like copious amounts of water and that like leads to like holding on to water so it provides vitamins and minerals which play a role in repairing tissue healing wounds boosting the immune system and strengthening the bone strengthening the bones clear skin better sleep and good digestion i'm mainly doing it for hydration just because it has like electrolytes in it and i feel like i'm not supplementing electrolytes any other way like i'm not drinking an electrolyte water i'm not drinking gatorade i'm not supplementing at all lauren conrad actually did a blog post on it like in 2016 
about her adding salt to her water. I don't know if she still does it, but I thought that was cool that she does it too or did it. But if you guys are going through the same things or if you feel like your electrolytes are being depleted or you want more to add more minerals into your diet and you don't know where to start, add some Himalayan salt. I mean, you don't really have anything to lose. It's not like table salt and it's gonna be bad for you. It's actually good for you. So try it out, look it up, do your research. And yeah, let's get into video. I just made a breakfast sandwich um, with cheddar cheese, egg, um, avocado, turkey bacon, and everything but the bagel seasoning. <laughs> Shut the door because I'm getting nervous. I haven't really vlogged much today. I've actually been sitting in this spot the whole day, basically editing my work week in my life it's taking me so long there's like 111 clips that i have to file through and condense stop <laughs> if you're standing on the other side of the door listen <laughs> don't listen to me speak anyways it's taking me way too long to edit that video so i'm feeling a little drained Okay, so yesterday I poured rosé into my little star cubes. I did, I did this rosé in my little star ice cube tray. And I'm going to make a little spritzer. Why do you do that on purpose? I'm going to make a little spritzer with it, but I'm modifying and using mineral water. I'm using Topo Chico instead. Let's try it out. Great. I never told you where I got this idea from, but I actually got it from the Skinny Confidential. She like froze rosé and made like a spritz. It's crazy. Okay. Um, I for <laughs> Why have you been wanting to ruin my videos all day? Okay, but yeah. Um, I think she used club soda instead of mineral water, but it's really yummy and it looks really cute. And the rosé cubes are holding up really nicely. I mean, they don't look like stars, but... <laughs> it's so good. Okay, we got this place called Pokihana for dinner, and we built our own poke yeah. bowls. Right. And then there's this like sushi taco. Hold on, I'm gonna try it. I told you you'd love that. You get like two of those, three of those, mm -hmm. two of them. You'd be, you'd be so full with two. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I built my own poke bowl. I got spicy tuna, mango, seaweed salad, cucumber, edamame, oh. and carrots. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you are subscribed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.